When writing a report, the numbers that we're reporting on are the facts, but sometimes it's also nice to have a visual representation of what these facts mean, a way to make our report stand out and allow somebody to quickly glance at it and know how one number compares to another. Excel gives us a great tool to accomplish this, and it's called conditional formatting. Conditional formatting is essentially a way for you to format a cell based on some condition. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use conditional formatting for data bars, and I'm going to base it off the max value in my report. Here I have a simple report. I'm reporting on my item groups, and I'm showing the invoice sales amounts for each one. Wouldn't it be great if I could look at this and just know how one number compares to another? Well, I can. If I come in here and select my values, and then select conditional formatting from the home ribbon, and scroll down, I'm going to select data bars. And when I come in here, I have a couple preset options, so I'll pick the green data bars for this example. When I do this, you'll see that it's formatting my cells and it's basing my value off the max value in my report. Now, when using conditional formatting on a pivot table, one thing we have to keep in mind is that our report is going to grow based off the values that I'm displaying. Well, Excel gives us a way to fix this. And if I come in here and at the very bottom I can select formatting options and apply my formatting this way, or from the conditional formatting dropdown, I can always come in here and manage my rules and edit the rule here. And I also have the same options. So here I want to go ahead and do it for all cells that have the values for the item group. Within this window, I can also change other options in my formatting. I can change my minimax value, for example, and I could hard set the number or give it a percentage. I can also change my appearance, and when I'm happy with everything, I can simply select OK. I could also change my format style here. A two color bar, so how do the colors change as it grows? Or a three color bar. There are also a bunch of icons that we could use, but we won't get into those in this video.